Hey everyone, I didn't expect to be doing a video so quick on the same topic regarding John Paul II and his up-and-coming canonization. But uh, many years ago, I did a study on John Paul II's use of the bent crucifix, and I'm sure you've all seen it. Uh, he, he carried it with him everywhere he went. In my research, I discovered back then that the, the artist for the cross was actually a Satanist, and he named the piece of artwork the Antichrist. Uh, and notice here what the Catholic Church actually said about the bent cross four years after John Paul II was carrying it. What I'm going to read here is from a Roman Catholic author by the name of Pierce Compton. and It's in his book, The Broken Cross, Hidden Hand in the Vatican. Uh, and this was back in 1981 that he put this out. And he said that the bent crucifix is a sinister symbol used by Satanists in the 6th century that had been revived at the time of Vatican II. This was a bent or broken cross on which was displayed a repulsive and distorted figure of Christ, which the black magicians and sorcerers of the Middle Ages had made use of to represent the biblical term Mark of the Beast. Yet not only Pope Paul VI, but his successors, the two John Pauls, carried that object and held it up to be revered by crowds who had not the slightest idea that it actually stood for the Antichrist. And that's on page 72 of his book. So the truth is, too, I mean, this was back in 1981. John Paul II was still Pope at that time. But Ratzinger, or a.k.a. Benedict XVI, he carried that cross. And the present Pope, Pope Francis, a Jesuit, he carries that cross as well. Now, notice this picture, if you will. Okay? See, and and I'm, I'll leave the link for this article in the comment section of the video. I don't particularly like this website because on the right side of their screen... It's just always loaded up with all these disgusting pictures from Hollywood. And that's why it's all blurred out on the right side. It's just it's just awful. Uh, but uh, this is the only place I could find this picture of this cross. But uh, notice this thing. It's uh, a massive 100-foot tall bent cross. And it was erected to honor John Paul II back in 2005. I mean, the artist actually made it in 98, but it was erected in 2005 when he visited a city in northern Italy. And uh, they, they go into detail about that here. Let's see. Yeah, right here it says, uh, The curved cross with a statue of Jesus weighing 1,320 pounds fixed to the top was designed by sculptor Enrico Job in honor of John Paul II's visit to Brescia in Lombardy in 1998. It was installed in a scenic location near Sivo in 2005. So there you have it. So now check this picture out. Just two days before John Paul II is to be declared a saint, this statue falls and a man is crushed to death by this bent cross that was erected to honor John Paul II. With that said, since they assert he is a saint because some woman claimed he healed her from heaven, would he not now be considered much worse and actually an anti-Christian after a cross that was erected in his honor? kills a man after his death? I mean, I'm just saying, this is the way Catholic theology works. So, the truth is, brothers and sisters, if you go to this page on my website, go to RemedyGod.org, go to RCC Exposed, go to the Popes of Rome, and go to John Paul II, you're going to see that this man was no saint in life. And according to the Bible, he's not a saint now either. Hope and pray you were blessed. Please share the video with as many as possible. Thanks for watching. God bless.